Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokegame here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle using the same Hitmonlee Miltank team from yesterday. If you guys are enjoying these Wi-Fi battles, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and also feel free to suggest Pokemon that you'd like to see me use next. Tomorrow we will be switching over to a new team, so I'm always down for ideas and... Yeah, big shout out to Ryan who passed me the Pokemon. Also, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Oh, and if they're into K, that is my end of the year goal. I'm uploading two to three Pokemon videos a day. You got Wi-Fi battles, you got Shutdown Lives, you got Moose Head video, guys. You got a whole lot of different Pokemon content on my channel. So if you like that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe. We're using the unofficial, official 6v6 singles universal code 2022-2021. And uh, yeah, if you guys want a chance to battle me, this is the place to play. I upload every single battle I have, whether win or loss. I, you guys see everything, whether I 6-0, whether I get 6 0 you guys see absolutely everything. And uh, I haven't been waiting more than I would say like, yep, like a minute or two. All right, let's see what's happening. Just to find a game. A lot of people are using this code. I got to try and promote the uh, the lower tier code a little bit more. Because I know a lot of people want to play lower tiers. But there's a lot less people that want to play lower tiers. So I'm going to try and promote that one a little bit more too. So feel free to suggest lower tier Pokemon. I know Luminion is one you really want to see. Okay, I saw Luminion a lot. I know. That will be interesting to try and use. Um, let me uh, hope, they, hope they pick some good Pokemon. But uh, yeah, so... Reckless Hitmonlee, if you guys missed the last time, that Mon was on like a little late game mini sweep, man. It was it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, they have a Mewtwo. Um, so that would normally be a Pokemon that I wouldn't have to fight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mewtwo is not something that's allowed on this. This is 66 singles OU. Uh, so anything OU and below, Mewtwo is uber. But I'm going to play the game nonetheless. I do have Unaware Scarf Clef, which is actually really good versus Cloyster and Dragonite. And we're going to use Miltank early. That was just me screenshotting their team. We're going to use Miltank early to get up rocks. Uh, I'm going to pray that I can just get enough damage off on Mewtwo to knock it out with Garchomp. And then we'll see. That's it. That's basically we'll see. We're gonna, like I said, I upload every single game I play. I want you guys to have my full Wi-Fi experience just like it was back in Gen 4. This is, this is what Gen 4 was to me right back in the day. Uploading every game, playing, winning, losing, didn't matter. Except I'm not doing post-com on them because <laughs> there's no versus recorder. Okay. Now, I do have uh, Rapid Spin on Himalaya, so I'm not too worried. And again, rocks are really good for busting Dragonite's multi skill. This guy can't even have Toxic right now, so we're good. I'm just going to get up them rocks, bust Dragonite's multi skill. We'll see if Miltank could do it. Uh, and then I'll actually be breaking their Sturdy via the via Body Slam just to do it. They do go for Stealth Rock. That's fine. Again, I want to break their Sturdy via Body Slam. This is actually a very annoying Pokemon for them to break. Especially if this is offensive lead. But they're not faster than my Miltic, which means they're probably not. But yeah, I know Body Slam is resisted, but again, I'm trying to break Sturdy. I'm potentially even paralyzing them. As they go for Spike. If they're just lead with Spikes and Stealth Rock, I'm okay with that. Like, I'll be, I should be okay. Again, I'm going for it again just because I'm not about to lose to this damn Mewtwo, bro. Paralyze him. Okay, unfortunately, that is not what happened there. So, this is uh, because I know they're going to get up their last layer. I'm just going to go hit my Lee and Rapid Spin here. Because I'm not paralyzing them, so. I'm going to go hit my Lee right now. Now, technically, High Jump Kick will do a million damage to them too. But again, I'm going for that late game Clefable sweep because Moonblast is so strong versus them. Or, or end game Garchomp sweep too. As long as they don't Brave Bird immediately, they get up the last layer. Yep, they get up the last layer of Spike. That's fine. And I can just go right for the, the Rapid Spin. Break their Sturdy. Ideally, they Brave Bird me here. I said, ideally, they Brave Bird me here, so they actually break their Sturdy even more. And I get to limit this. All those hazards are gone. No, not for you. Not today. Where would be cool, too? They do where would be out. Perfect. So we get rid of the hazard. They wear me out. Please give me Latios. Clefable's not bad. Clefable's not bad either. Clefable's definitely not bad because I have Flamethrower. So I'll take this. And they're not at sturdy. So I don't know how much they take from this Flamethrower. But I'm timid max special attack. So we're going to go for Flamethrower. And I get to keep my hit only for Mock Punch. For Cloyster. For everything. So they get up Stealth Rock again. Stealth Rock aren't too big of a deal. Just go for a Flamethrower. Again. 
Their resistance is what? Dragonite? Like, that's not a Pokemon that wants to come in Uncle Fable anyway. So, get ready for that Flamethrower. Ideally, knock out Skarm. Making this game a lot easier because this is their normal resist. I mean, if Mewtwo comes out and I burn it, that'd be cool too. Are they Rowan Roost? Oh, they go Cloyster, which is an odd play because Cloyster will easily be 2 KO'd. And that, both that as well as the, uh, well, they have this and Weavile, I guess, as well. Cloyster might just die. <laughs> and I burn it too. Which doesn't matter, it's just principle, I guess. Just interesting. Anyway, so I'll be able to knock out Cloyster here with the next Flamethrower. Because this homie does not care at all. I don't know why I feel like they might disconnect after, but... I'm feeling, if they do disconnect, I'll find another game. Like, if they disconnect before the battle's ending. Maybe they're just running Mewtwo just because. But again, Mewtwo is a threat. There's not much I can do to it. <laughs> They might just bring it out now. <laughs> That's because it's a demon. Or I guess they go Dragonite too, which is also a play. I'm really worried about Mewtwo. <laughs> I truly am. That sounds like Electivire. Okay, awesome. Yeah, his name was Jolt, so I'm assuming. Alright, so we got the rocks up. Gonna bring on Miltank because I'm mixed defensive, so I'm thinking that's enough for Electivire. Uh, I need a little bit more chip on Electivire before it dies to Outrage from Garchomp because that's what I'm trying to end game with. Mm. They go for Ice Punch. I'm easily gonna take that because of Thick Fat. Nice, and their Life Orb too. Uh, they may end up going for Cross Chop, I guess. Oh, this is also one of the Weavile counters for the team, right? That's that's why this Mon's in the squad. That's fair. You gotta be careful. I'm gonna go for Earthquake, though. It's fine. They do go for their own Earthquake. I'm going to eat that up so easily, and they are going to die to mine. Look at Miltank, the mascot. Go, baby. Feel my wrath. Oh, no. Actually, them not dying is better for me because I get to Milk Drink up. So I think I get more recovery out of this turn. They barely survived. It's fine. I'm going to drink some milk. It's good for my bones. This ain't going to do anything. Did they crit me? Or did they just do that much. My God. Okay. So. Again, the big threats. Definitely Weavile. <laughs> definitely Weavile. Uh, if they go Weavile, though, I should be good to just body slam it for damage. And Michael Fable eats a hit too. If they go Skarmory, that's a little bit more annoying, I suppose. Actually, if they go Skarmory, I go hard hit Molly and just click high jump kick. If they go Mewtwo, that's also a threat because it's Mewtwo. And there's literally nothing other to say than that. It is uh, Mewtwo, it's a threat. <laughs> they go Skarm, that's fine. Skarm comes out. I am going to kick it in the face, bro. I'm going to go right out into my hit Molly here. And kick it right in the face. It's time. I'm kicking this thing right in the face right now. You're getting kicked right now. They roost. Oh, dude, they can't even touch this mon. Like, <laughs> I just realized that. I just realized they're set. Roost, Stealth Rock, Spike, Whirlwind, bro. I can, I can rabbit spin forever. I don't even have to kick them in the face. I can literally rabbit spin forever until they decide to whirl with me. <laughs> and if they get Latios, I'm good. So we'll go right for rabbit spin. Get rid of these hazards. Why not? You know, help my homies out. Help the hazard. They whirl with me out. Awesome. Latios? Jirachi. Uh, not the worst case, I suppose. I get to Doom Desire, I guess. But, like, it doesn't actually help me out. It's just to get Chip. To make sure Skarm is dealt with. So we Doom Desire. It also makes sure that Skarmory's Sturdy is broken. I, I'm basically waiting for them to give me Latios. So I can click Life uh, Specs Thunderbolt and knock them out. That's it. 
I'm not a big fan of uh, lead scar with no attacks. So we U-turn here. No Brave Bird's so weird. I'm not gonna knock it though, but it's just weird. Like it's clearly, it's working in the sense that it's like wasting time in like for the game. I, I do feel like Skarmory needs some sort of offensive move. All right, who are you who are you forcing me out into? Please be somebody else. All right, I'm good with this. Thank you very much. So, Flamethrower into Doom Desire is going to deal with a lot of Pokemon. Just going to go for it again. Maybe they'll go Mewtwo and take a million. Whatever they switch into is taking a Doom Desire as well, so... Tails is not is is Dragonite. Makes sense. We bust its multi scale. I also beat it 1v1. Technically. Take that Doom Desire right there too. Oof, that is so much damage. Ah, Flamethrower is so close to being a KO, but it's not. That's the problem. It's just not a KO. I can't risk going Garchomp. I can't let it take damage. No! <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead, Mali. It's fine. I don't think Flamethrower would pick up the KO. I think it'd be really close. It just gets Stealth Rock hit him, which makes it look like it would. They do Fire Punch. They knock me out. That's fine. I'm gonna bring out you and click Thunderbolt. Maybe they'll go hard Skarmory, which would be nice. Or Mewtwo. <laughs> They're really saving that Mewtwo for endgame, bro. They're really saving that Mewtwo for the endgame. But I'd love if they go Skarm here. Instead of sacking Dragon, I, I would love if they go Skarmory. Smart. Nice. Okay, so we get rid of Dragonite. We get rid of Dragonite. Weavile can come out. There's Weavile. I should never lose to Skarm. They SD, it's annoying. Eh. It should be fine, because Clefable lives a hit and can knock him out after with Flamethrower, so... And I can go out into my, uh... Bro, this Gengar thumbnail is so sick. I can go out into, uh... Lottie Afton, pick up a KO, yep. I'll easily eat this up because of my Thick Fat. Yum. Oh my god, your boy ate that up, like, for breakfast, bro. Miltech is insane, dude. Miltech is insane, bro. What a demon, dude. What a demon. They milk drink up. Oh, they do have the brick break. That's fine, though. That's fine. Miltech being able to eat that, like, I took that like nothing, you know? We're just trying to keep you nice and low. Clefable is my play, just to click Flamethrower. I should be able to live an Ice will Crash. I hope. I hope. We go for Flamethrower here. Oh, and I dodge. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I lived Ice will Crash, though. I'm pretty sure I lived Ice will Crash. We are level 50, though, so they do a little bit more, but... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so the roll does between 114 and 136. And it has to get a 129, 130, 130, 130. Do enough to me, so I'm, I'm good. Now, the biggest threat is still in the back. 
And my opponent seems to think they're hiding it from me. But no, you are not. You are not hiding this from me. I see the Mewtwo. I knock him out. Perfect. All I gotta do is, I think, stay in on Mewtwo and click Flamethrower a couple times. Because even if they calm mind up, I'm unaware, so I don't care about that. I hope they're Life Orb as well, and then Outrage will, will, should be able to KO them after. Like, as long as I get damage off of them. Side Strike immediately kills me, though. <laughs> but yeah, if they Nasty Plow or Calm Mind, I'm If they Calm Mind, I'm good. Because I have Unaware, so I can just keep clicking Flamethrower. They do Nasty Plot. So we get some beautiful damage off of them. Exactly what I needed. I get the exact damage I needed on Mewtwo. Perfect. They are leftovers though, which makes it a little bit scary. I can't switch out. It's a Mewtwo, so they knock me out with Side Strike here. Yep. Man, this mod's scary. I'm scared, man. I'm really scared that my Jirachi is just going to straight up drop. I think, though, that depending, I think it really depends. Because, like, I guess if they're Fire Blast, that can be bad, too. I think I have to protect. So that way I guarantee live this flame. Like, I guarantee live Flamethrower if I protect. If they're Aura Sphere, that's fine, too. Please be Aura Sphere. They're Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball's weaker than uh, Flamethrower, right? So, like, I should live this provided no crit. I should definitely live this provided no crit. And then I get the U-turn damage off, and then I get to outrage them. That, that's, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking here. Let's see. Provided no crit, or I guess modest nature. They could be modest nature, to be fair. That's a Mewtwo. Yep, no crit. Provided no crit, we were good. Again, I protected just in case they had Flamethrower. Alright, so they should definitely die to Garchomp's Outrage now. That should be it. Let me show you a real Gen 4 Uber right here. Let me show you a real Gen 4 Uber right here, right now, baby. Let me show them this Uber. This is an Uber, okay? Nah, you think you? Let me show you a real Uber right now. Scarf and Scarf Garchomp's actually really good in Gen 4 as well. Woo! We won. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, that was a hard game, man. Just because I had to be aware of the Mewtwo in the back, right? All right, we were able to win, though. Able to beat the Mewtwo. Not bad. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And, um, yeah. I will see you guys in the next battle. Also, if you guys want to pre-order Pokemon Legends Arceus and live in the U.S., feel free to use my Best Buy link. You do support me by doing so. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all I have. So, we're going to be using a new team. Let me know which Pokemon you would like to see in tomorrow's videos. As well as... What else? What else? What else? What else? Something else. Ah, whatever. I'll remember it next time. I'll see you guys. Peace.